a great pleasure to open this evidence-based medicine session with a presentation of the current evidence on the use of nutrition in patients with fecal pancreatitis. A mean indicated goal to treat a patient with fecal pancreatitis seemed rather straightforward for just about every resident. It meant intravenous fluids, adequate painkillers, nutrition, if at all, was given via the parental route. However, things have changed, and a recent publication by Dr. Thompson from Australia highlighted the key randomized control trials published in this area. The first landmark study came from the United States and it was published in 1987. It was a randomized controlled trial that compared parental nutrition, total parental nutrition with no nutrition. And the authors demonstrated no benefits of parental nutrition. Also, I have to mention that that study was rather underpowered. Uh, the second landmark study was conducted by Steve McClay from Kentucky. He, for the first time, compared enteral and parental nutrition in patients with acute pancreatitis. In particular, he demonstrated that enteral nutrition is feasible in uh, these patients and doesn't lead to, uh, to and doesn't lead, doesn't bring any harm. Uh, the first trial was published uh, from Greece, and uh, this was the first study that compared enteral and parental nutrition in patients with predicted severe acute pancreatitis. And for the first time, the authors from Greece demonstrated the benefits of enteral nutrition in terms of reduced risk of infectious complications.